episode of the Zambia Report, we look at one of the rising companies on the Zambian business scene, Northwestern Energy Corporation, as they set new boundaries in the world of Zambian entrepreneurship. In May 2006, a young Zambian had a dream to set up a company that would provide a world-class service to one of the world's biggest copper mining projects in the world. The Lumwana mine in the northwestern province was a greenfield project that got underway just as Zambia was coming out of the slump in the market for copper. The mine is the largest copper mine in the world and has an unexpected lifespan of approximately 37 years. The project took almost 10 years to develop and construction of the mine began in 2006. The first production was achieved in December 2008. International demand, predominantly from the Chinese market, had seen copper prices on the rise. And so, once again, copper was viewed as a good investment in the international market. Several years of the rising prices had put the Zambian economy on a strong footing. And by mid-2008, the copper price had risen to as high as $8,400 per ton. The worldwide economic recession led to a steep decline in the prices and the new year copper prices had plunged to as low as $2,800 per ton. In the new year, however, copper rebounded to the previous heights and the industry was thriving once again. Northwestern Energy was born out of the vision of one man, Andrew Kamanga who while consulting with the Lumana mine spotted the opportunity to get involved with the company on a much larger scale. Working on the project plan and putting together a team was no easy task but eventually the wheels of progress began to turn and the first steps of a long journey to success began. Well I think uh, the background to it is that first of all I've worked as a consultant um, by first of all creating Enfin Solutions in 2001 which focused on uh, energy as well as uh, financial advisory services. Now it's uh, during the time we were working in Enfin Solutions that we were engaged by uh, Equinox um, Copper Ventures to negotiate uh, a, power, a power purchase agreement for their power requirements uh, from Zesco. We approached uh, Zesco initially with the concepts and uh, through detailed discussions, Zesco came back and finally approved that we could proceed and do the project in the way we've done it in uh, December 2006. So the understanding with Zesco then was that uh, we would then go into a long-term power supply agreement, which we eventually signed and uh, to, uh, to date we've got a 15-year power purchase agreement with Zesco. In order for the project to succeed, he needed to win the confidence of the Lumana mine management and unless he had the endorsement of CEO Harry Michael, he would not be able to get the project off the ground. Michael, a veteran of the mining industry, had been working on several large-scale mining projects previously and knew he couldn't afford to take chances with the mine's development. However, he was willing to give Northwestern Energy Corporation a chance. Um, we had a relationship already with, uh, with Enfin, Enfin that, was, um, that was providing some, uh, some VAT and taxation advice uh, to the company. We then looked as part of the development for Lumwana, we looked at areas that were non-core to the business but could probably provide an opportunity for uh, an entrepreneur um, uh, in Zambia that was willing to take a risk and develop, uh, develop uh, other opportunities uh, as part of the larger development that is Lumwana and the town development. Um, uh, that's how Northwestern Energy was born. It became clear to Equinox that um, they could um, pass all that out to the private sector to undertake uh, the power distribution in the non-mine area, which would include the housing, the commercial area, as well as uh, the light industrial area. So this is where we then uh, went and approached uh, Equinox with a view that uh, would undertake uh, that uh, power distribution. Equinox initially were agreeable, subject to us obtaining the necessary consents from Zesco. And uh, with time we did uh, sit down with Zesco, went through the process 
And uh, eventually Zesco agreed, of course they gave us conditions in terms of uh, how the design would uh, be done as well as uh, the interconnection.